Hi everyone. Um, I just wanted to do an update for you guys. Today was my baseline ultrasound scan. We have been injecting with the Bucerolin, um since Wednesday. Uh, this morning we added our Clexane injection and then tonight we will add the Menopoir. So um, the baseline went pretty good. I was a little nervous because um, as soon as she went in, she thought she found one, well, actually two big cysts on my right ovary. And um, in in this particular case, a cyst would be a deal breaker or a showstopper because when you do IVF, when you take all these stimulating medications, it would just cause those cysts to grow, which can be very dangerous. So um, what I was going in for was to make sure I did not have any cysts and to check my lining, my uterine lining, to make sure that it was um, below a certain measurement because you want to make sure that you're downward regulated. So um, they checked that, my lining, and then they also, um, I asked her just to give me an antral follicle count. So um, the what we thought were cysts initially is actually my, it was endometria. Um, my endometriosis has come back and um, I did have some around my right ovary last surgery that she removed as much as she could, but she, I think, had to leave some behind to not, you know, damage my ovaries. So um, clearly that has grown back and, um, and my lining was okay. The measurement they wanted it below was 5 and it was 4.8. It was still a little thick, um, but I did not get a period of the cycle like I should have. After I went off the pill, I should have bled for, you know, in two to three days. And I never did get a full flow cycle. I actually only um, spotted for a few days with cramping, heavy cramping. So it felt like it was coming, but it never really did. Well, I went to acupuncture last night and I asked my acupuncturist to give me needles, you know, to maybe see if we could get a flow going again. And um, it looks like that worked because since my appointment, I think I've got um, a flow going. So, um, so that's good news because she wanted to see that number go down and it is going to more than likely go down a little, even though it was still within the range. Um, lower is better. So I'm sure my lining will shrink up a little. And then what else do we have? Oh, antral follicle count looks like it was around 12 or 13. You know, they can count how many potential eggs that you'll get because you have antral follicles each cycle. On a normal female cycle, you'll have one dominant egg that ovulates. Um, the goal IVF is to get all of those eggs to grow to about the same size within a certain range without any of them ovulating so that they can be harvested. So when you have um, antral follicles, that is a good predictor of how many eggs that you might get during an IVF cycle. Well, with 12 to 13, I can either, um, from the research I've seen, some women get double that, so like they might end up with 20 eggs in my situation. They might end up with about 12 to 13. I've seen some women get less. So, you know, on average, if they stimulate you properly and they do, you know, the right dosages and stuff, you can you can end up with a pretty decent amount. So, um, that's all I really have, I guess. Everything is still on. Um, I'm, a, I'm a little disappointed that the endometriosis is back considering I had surgery, you know, last year, less than a year ago, but I guess that's part of the territory. Um, my nurse Anna did say that they could potentially aspirate that um, when I get there, you know, just so that it doesn't become problematic. So when they go in to do the egg retrieval, they might be able to just aspirate that. So, um, but they do know how to go through it and around it and everything to retrieve the eggs if need be. So even if we leave it behind, that should be fine. So. I think that's all I have for you. We're going to start our uh, menopause injections this evening. So I'm getting um, one Bucerolin in the morning, one in the evening, Clexane in the morning, and menopause in the evening. So I'm four shots a day. And um, I start taking my baby aspirin. I stay on my Synthroid. I stay on my folic acid. I stay on my prenatals. And I say on my DHEA, I was just looking at my notes, my DHEA, and I'll continue taking my, my uh, royal jelly. So 
that looks like that's it. I will update you again as soon as I have something new for you. Um, this weekend we're just wrapping up Blue Suns, getting everything we need taken care of before we take off next week. And um, we're very excited. So we will uh, update you again soon. Bye.